That is beautiful. This is my legacy. You're crazy, man. You should try a little bit of crazy. Patrick, good morning. Jeff in Las Vegas. Jeff, how are you, man? Dude, every time I see you, I think of Starship Troopers, man. One of the greatest sci-fi movies of all time. And you're just my idol in that movie. I just love you in that. Oh, man, you're the best. I lost my brains in that movie. I got my brain sucked out. And not a lot of people can say that, you know. Oh, so, man. One of the greatest moments in sci-fi. So congratulations. <laughs> think Paul Verhoeven. But yeah. It was, uh, <laughs> yes. Well, okay. thanks for talking to me today about Deadlock. Uh, you know. I love how the movie opens with your character. He's regretting his night before. He's convincing himself in the mirror that's going to be a good day. So, <laughs> so I'm like, there's there's the background of your character. That's all we need to know right there. You just said it. And really, that that was it. That was, uh, I just wanted the guy, the guy to, have, he wakes up horrifically hungover and, uh, you know, goes through the checklist. I, th- I forget what it was, but the checklist was, I didn't, I didn't hit didn't get in a fight didn't go home with anybody and something else and <laughs> and uh so just there's a peaceful thing to matt carr that which is like the setup he just he's a nice guy he wants to have a good good day and he doesn't want to kill anybody and then walks into a day like uh like what happens yeah and he lives on a houseboat he's got crackheads hanging out his front door what kind of neighborhood he should just pull anchor and get out of there right <laughs> yeah it's like seriously you know i i wake up and i i, I have to uh the guy asked to borrow some money, you know? Yeah. Matt's a nice guy. But, well, your uh, character, you know, he's a welder on a dam. And I was watching that scene. Were you really hovering over the water like that? That looked, that looked kind of dangerous. It was dangerous. And, uh, and when, uh, when I got out there, uh, it was, you know, <laughs> I was obviously, I was roped in, but still it's, they opened those doors a couple of times, full tilt boogie. And you see the power of of a dam, and you know one wrong one wrong move when those doors are open, and you're you're toast. So uh, yeah, but it was not lost on me that it was it was scary. But, I was like, but man, you're do, doing it for your craft, taking risks because that was convincing. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. There was some there was, there was some more dangerous stuff out there that uh that we had uh. Uh, Bob, Bobby Lane and or, or I let him do some some of that stuff, but but I was I was hanging I was hanging right right at those doors. It was crazy. And you know this this dam this hydro plant was taken over by an armed team of militants led by Bruce Willis. You know he's playing a bad guy, but I was thinking throughout the movie it depends on your perspective if Bruce Willis is a bad guy or not. So it's kind of up in the air. You know what he's doing is illegal, but his 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 reasons you kind of are sympathetic towards him. Yeah. You know, the, he, there was not justice uh, when his uh, son, sons died, right? So, um, so there was no justice, you know, but I don't know. You kill 50 people at a dam. I don't, maybe Bruce took it a little too far. I don't know, but, <laughs> but, but he was justified. That's for sure. So, well, it's, it's kind of fun because, you know, being upset. Yeah, because you guys have role reversal. You know, I mean, you're playing the John McClane character, right? Taking over the bad guys, you know, but you have a security guard for like comic relief. I love how you have this kid who doesn't, you know, expect to do anything about his job. And you're like, no, here's what you're going to do. And this kid has to be an instant hero. So I found that really funny. Yeah, no, I think that's one of the things that I love about Deadlock is, is you could get into the formulaic action thing and there's great action in here and Bruce Willis and but everywhere we tried to weave in the humor. Uh, so that it's fun for the audiences, you know, uh, it, it, it should be a fun ride too. In the spirit of like, you know, my God, you have Mr. Die Hard himself. That's an action movie, much bigger action movie, but, but, <laughs> but that's, that, that is fun. Absolutely. Uh, and where did they and find that? Great. And where did they find that facility? I mean, that was really, I thought that was a star of the movie too, because uh, it was really cool. All the different locations you had in that, but I'm thinking, is this thing closed? Because it looked like it would there be security concerns that you're wondering all this equipment and all this facility. We got lucky. Uh, we were supposed to shoot. We were supposed to shoot uh, in a different part of Georgia, uh, a totally different location. And somebody found that location at the last minute. 
and we're like, oh my God, this is incredible. And the, the rickety thing that we're running up and down the ladders, the, the old water towers and all that stuff, uh, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not operational, but it's from like the 1920s. And so, I mean, for production value, I mean, it was, it was oh, cool. If I yeah. was the director, I'd be walking around just thinking of scenes like, oh my gosh, we could use this, we could use this, you know, because That's you have this. Is, yeah, because this is physical for you. I mean, you had a lot of physical uh, action in this movie. Uh, do you have a great stunt coordinator? Because there was sometimes I thought, you know, you had some loose punches or, because you get, you get pretty violent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The fighting stuff I'm good, good with, you know, I've been, doing martial arts my whole life but bobby lane and the stunt coordinator is was he's like a unsung hero in the movie i mean there's there's stuff that he's doing with my wig on jumping <laughs> off the t side of the tower you know with uh uh on a cable from five stories up um it, you know i did uh, some of the stuff hanging over the over the dam but but uh but a real dangerous step was him. So it's, you know, yeah. It's, yeah and Bobby did a great job. And of course the climax, the climax of the movie is your final confrontation with Bruce Willis. You have one major scene together. What was that like working with him? It was like, uh, uh, obviously I'm, I'm, you know, I'm nervous as hell and, you know, but come to play though, right? And he, he does something when he acts with you, he connects with you. And it kind of takes you out all of a sudden of that's Bruce Willis. Like he really, we really, and he does it with everybody, really connects. And, it, and, and if he didn't, you'd be able to take a step out and say, oh God, that's Bruce Willis. You know, <laughs> but, but there's something really engaging about him. But, but there was a moment uh, towards the end where I had a, I had a, this is, this is so cool. That's, that's actually... <laughs> I'm watching like, Die Hard, you know. It's like, hey, Bruce, can I get a picture? In person, <laughs> like a yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Awesome job, Patrick. Uh, congratulations. It's always a thrill to talk to you. Come visit us in Las Vegas soon, man. We'd love to have you. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much. Always a pleasure talking to you.